Yeah, uh, look, Alex Garrett podcasting here. I'm starting to get a new slogan, feeling like. By the way, waking up in Los Angeles, you will see that uh, on Alex G N Y C one. Waking up in L A with the girlfriend, and uh, we're having a good time so far. Going to go to a Dodger game, but that's not why I'm here to talk to you. I'm starting to build a, a new slogan called I Playlist, I Podcast, I Am Alex Garrett. Cocky, maybe. Arrogant sounding, I don't know. But, yeah, so the other day, I, it came it came to mind that I was building this big playlist. And I said to myself, hmm, this is shareable. It just has AG because I just made it for myself. But maybe I could really take Spotify by storm. Maybe, because uh, I already have the podcast up here on Spotify at Alex Garrett Podcasting. Keep it with Alex Garrett. Um, adapting all the all the different features, but why not playlist? And I even wrote about this on my word on my website alexgnyc.com. And the cool thing is about this playlist is I always have felt that music's been a mystery for the people like. Why are you 20, but you love Sinatra? Why, you know, I I tell the story when that song Rock Away, Lean Back by, uh, I think it was, I don't remember, but it's a good song. But all the kids at Viscardi were doing the lean back. This is a true story. And I felt so uncultured, I almost started crying because I'm like, why am I not up to date with the music? So I got there. And now the playlist is just very diverse and uh, has a bit of everything on it. And you can find it out, by the way, at AKG Song Selections. That would never be my DJ name. I don't know what my DJ name would be, but for now it's AKG Song Selections. But I play Spin Doctors because people who make playlists typically are quote-unquote Spin Doctors. They're DJs. They love to put music together. They love to mix. They tend to mix up uh, songs, right? They do the remix and all that. I'm not like that. I don't know how to do that. I'm not that kind of DJ. But I do think my taste in music is pretty damn awesome. And you can check it out again, AKG Song Selections. But yeah, if, if you're a podcaster or someone in the media, I would think what music you listen to is kind of interesting. Like, what do you like to listen to? What mood... What sets your mood? We always know that music sets the mood, right? So what sets your mood? Well, what fits your mood? What what mood do you like um, that... What music do you like that fits your mood? There, there you go. That's what I was trying to say. So to me, it's like different things. If I'm coasting down city streets, yeah, a little EDM. A little bit of that sneaks in. If I want to... If I'm just feeling fired up, yeah, I might throw up a Post Malone or something like that. I don't know. I just, it's very unexpected because I, 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 I don't try and come off. I just feel like I come off as this very simple, like, relaxed dude. And then when you get to the, my music, it's like, he listens to that? That's kind of the reaction I want, actually. Like, yeah, I might surprise you because I'm so even keel and so demeanor, like, and so proper. I feel like I'm a very collars buttoned and buttoned up guy for the most part. That when you listen to my music, you'll be like, wait, he listens to what? He likes what? So I I, I kind of felt that that was a mystery. Maybe my own head. Maybe people didn't care about the music I listened to. But, and you could see it through my TikToks at AlexGNYC1. The music I do. Because I select a lot of different things. Sometimes I do the trends. And they make some great trends. By the way, while we're on music for a minute, did you think that in 2020, music artists recorded songs just for TikTok? Like they put EPs out just for TikTok? It's hard to feel like that. Because if you're an artist in the pandemic, first you want to create. Secondly, if you're watching other songs be trended day in and day out, millions of people viewing certain songs, why wouldn't you want to trend on TikTok 
uh, for the pandemic with the song that you wrote, literally while you're locked in. Remember, some people actually dropped albums like Paul McCartney uh, during the pandemic because I think people found their time. When you're not on tour, you find your writing again. You find your voice again. You find your songs. Look, being locked in for me built up this podcast and it helped me survive. For artists, I think the pandemic, you had to survive to be up for write, songwriters and singers, recording artists. To survive the pandemic, you had to keep writing songs, right? You had to keep uh, keep the trends going. You know, Billy Joel sings a great lyric. He says uh, that you'll forget me in another year if you don't if he doesn't stay on the charts. Well, look at this. You got tons of people competing to be on the charts on Billboard uh, now on TikTok. That's also a good judge of how music, uh, how a song trends or doesn't trend. That's just my observation on that. But yeah. And about this playlist, AKG Song Selections on Spotify, I made it collaborative. Don't spam me, but if you want to add to it, because you think it's kind of dull or kind of could use some work, uh, do so. Add it. Text me. Email me. Well, yeah, text me too. If you added the playlist, text me at uh, numbers-wise, 206 426-9884. That's 206-426-9884. And that's my text uh, thread. And then you can email me at alex at alexgnyc.com. Let me know, did you make an edit to the playlist so I'm not surprised when 20,000 F-bombs start dropping? I'm like, I added the clean versions of this. I kid. Sometimes I add clean versions. Sometimes I like the censored. The expletives, if you will. Other times it's just kind of like th- There's still good music out here And by the way, LA How am I not going to do TikTok out here? It's L freaking An- Los freaking Angeles The city of angels Palm trees Dodger baseball Going out there to see the Dodgers with My girlfriend and the Mets are here Saw them lose to the Dodgers last week At City Field Little did I know that would be a beginning of a collapse of a colla- of sorts. I mean, this team now comes out to the West Coast, lose three out of four to the Giants, now have lost the last two to the Dodgers. I don't know what to make of that. This team was in first place. Then they got Javi Baez. And Baez, someone pointed out to me, is not the best selection of all three that left Chicago. Up here in the Bay, uh, San Francisco, you got Chris Bryant. God, I hope my Bryant jersey comes in when I get there. I'm trying to track this kid's career since he, I kind of said you should call him up. Now I'm invested in where Chris Bryant goes and what he does with these teams. He's at like a few homers already. And what can you tell me about, what can you tell me about Anthony Rizzo, right? The defense of Rizzo, the bat of Rizzo, that short porch and right field of Yankee Stadium. Come on. What an addition. And the Mets, you think there's an energy change. Maybe they got it. DeGrom's situation gets worse. He cannot start before September whatever. And he, he's on the 60-day injured list now, which is just brutal. Baez, they get him. They actually do this offer for two for $23, only to have him on the IL. Uh, Mets are a mess. And we'll see how much of a mess today when they take on the Dodgers one Pacific time. So I'm going to jump out and get some breakfast and check out L.A. Probably here till Monday. And then we'll keep, we'll do some reports. We'll do some journals. I How can I not do journals out here, right? It's L. It's Los Angeles. So we'll see. But yeah, AKG, song selection, a little more about me. If your eyes widen when you hear the lyrics on some of them, don't be alarmed. I'm actually quite diverse. Alex Garrett, Alex Garrett Podcasting, alexgnyc.com. We'll see you from L.A. soon.